Hello everyone, today, I will repair the power supply on the main board in the Asus laptop. The symptoms are a dead laptop and a lack of power. I have already pulled out the board, I will perform the basic measurements. At the beginning, I measure the voltage on the power supply socket, it is fine. And on the main branch, and here I can see that there is no power in the main branch. I turn the board. Here we have the keys connecting the power supply to the main branch. I check the voltage on the power supply socket again, then whether it reaches the first transistor. Again the same, but in a different shot. As you can see, the voltage reaches the first transistor, but it is not connected further, so I will measure the resistance of the main branch. As you can see, it is very low, below 1 ohm. So we have a short circuit in the main branch, and we will have to do a short circuit test. I set the power supply to 1 volt, minus the power supply I connected to the mass of the board, and plus the power supply to the main branch. After a while, I check where the board is warm. At this point I feel my hand warm, so somewhere here will be a short circuit. There are no elements on this side of the laminate, so I have to turn the board. I apply the voltage of the power supply to the main power supply branch again. At the same time, I try to find a place that becomes warm. At this point I feel that the capacitor is heating up. I spray this place with isopropanol panel and apply the voltage of the power supply to the main branch. It should be visible how the isopropyl panel evaporates on the damaged element. As you can see, the isopropyl panel evaporated from this capacitor and its surroundings. We have a damaged element. A little flux and solder the capacitor. I can now check if it is actually pierced. We have confirmation, this capacitor is pierced. I check the resistance of the main branch again. This time the resistance is correct. See what the resistance of the correct capacitor looks like. I solder the correct capacitor and in a moment I will check the resistance and voltage in the main branch. The resistance is correct. I can connect the power supply. The voltage in the main branch is correct. The current is growing, so I try to charge the battery. I fold the laptop and see the effect. The laptop starts, and what about the battery? The battery is charged correctly, after a while it reached 100%. Thank you for watching and see you.